Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be styling the must-have Zara Aviator jacket of the season. This has been around for a few months now and it keeps selling out and it keeps coming back. So I think it's gonna be a bit of a winner. And it was actually requested on Instagram a couple of days ago to film a styling video for this jacket. So I thought, Do you know what? The first styling video of this year can be exactly that. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump into the video. I will leave the jacket linked down below along with some similar alternatives as well as all the other things shown and mentioned throughout the video. So hopefully you get a lot of inspiration. You should be able to read create these quite easily with things you already own but if there is anything that catches your eye like I said all of the links will be down below and you can check it out so hopefully you like this video if you have an aviator jacket and you need some ways to style it I feel like a soccer mum or a baseball mum or something about to go and support my child in all of their sporting endeavours but this is definitely a really simple one that I've been wearing on repeat it does look better without the bag so I'm just going to take the bag off for now but I would typically wear this one and just like slouch it over my shoulder and wear it short I just thought I'd try and crossbody it and see what it looked like. I'm not the biggest fan. I think it needs to be like just slouched on the shoulder, but I do really like this outfit. I think it works really well as like a nice, easy, everyday vibe. So I've just got an oversized sweatshirt on from Primark. Obviously got the cap. Leggings are the H&M shaping ones that I wear all the time. They're really, really comfortable. And then I've just got my new balances on here. These are the 574s and they're really comfortable. Um, but this is a good outfit for just every day. So if you're anything like me and you end up running errands or going to supermarket or just working from a coffee shop, etc., this is a really good one to do. If I'm working from home, I try and wear like nice loungewear. But if I'm going to work in a coffee shop, I try and put on something like this where I'm really comfortable, but I'm in a different environment. So I feel a bit more like I'm getting something done and it's just that nice like casual basic off-duty kind of style that works really nicely and is all over Instagram at the moment and I think the soft grey works really well with the coat like the grey on the shoes and stuff as well it just looks a bit more of a vibe and it just adds everything together really nicely and honestly I'm just in love with this coat very warm though my house is only like 20 degrees and I'm very very warm wearing this inside like it's such a toasty coat um which you would expect for the fact that it's 100 pounds <laughs> basic but I really, really love this. I think this is my favourite outfit from the entire video. I've got these faded black jeans from Levi's with my docks, which are just a classic combination. I really like them. I like the straight leg style of the 501s. And then I've got a really nice chunky scarf over the top and just a plain white tee, which I think works really nicely for just drawing the outfit more into winter, obviously with the chunky knit. But then if you took this off, it's still a really cute outfit anyway. So definitely think the chunky scarf adds a lot to the look but it does feel very like this on top because there's so many things. And then for the bag, I've just gone for my coach tabby just to tie in all of the other cream tones. So it's just a little white number and I think it looks really nice with this outfit. It just kind of pulls it all together a bit more. Um, but this is again, one I really like. I've never worn this before, but I do think it's one that's gonna come out because it's really nice and simple. Like I've literally just thrown on all of my basics to see if it works and it works and I really like the scarf with it as well because the scarf's just so so nice this is actually an oldie from ASOS last year which isn't available anymore but I'll leave similar linked if you want one because it is a really nice like chunky beautiful scarf Okay, third outfit is this one. So just very, very simple. And one I've actually already put on Instagram, I'll leave the picture on the screen so you can see it, but I just put my hair up and had a slightly different bag, but really nice classic outfit. Blue jeans, I think go with absolutely everything. They're a staple in your wardrobe. And I think blue jeans and a white tee kind of just adds the perfect base to pretty much anything. So that's why I tend to gravitate to that for most of my styling videos, because I do just think sometimes we need to remember that the most simple outfit can sometimes be elevated just by wearing a different coat, for example this one um, then I've also got my Uggs I've got a little nude bag and I just think it's a really cute little outfit very very simple and one that like I said I wore for a coffee date went for a little walk along the river and wore this with a coffee it was great I had my best life it was the bank holiday and I feel like that was my perfect end to the Christmas period but it's honestly just really really comfortable and really easy to recreate with things you've already got We've got the legs out. I know it's winter and I know that not everyone likes having their legs out in winter, but I sometimes do depending on what I'm doing. So if I was just going out for like a lunch with friends or something, I would definitely just chuck something like this on. Or equally, if it wasn't too cold of a day, I think this is quite a good one. And you can get tights that look like this, which are fleece lined, so even better. But I've just gone for my docks on this one with a little skirt, a black jumper that I've just left untucked that so just looks a bit more like a dress. And then my Gucci bag to match with the coat. And it's really, really comfortable. It's one that I do 
bring out quite a lot. Obviously, I change up the coat all the time, but I do tend to wear this skirt um, with various different bits and pieces. It has ridden up quite a bit. It's not actually that short. I just realised it's very, very, very tiny in this camera. But um, yeah, it's really, really nice and comfortable and something I do bring out on occasion. And the skirt has been in my wardrobe from Zara for so long. I think it's been like three years now. And it's still my favourite skirt. It's my absolute go-to when I want to wear a little black skirt. And I kind of like the fact the slit's really high up as well. I think it looks really cute. But anyway, this is the outfit. And yeah, I'm going to carry on with the video because the light is really going and I'm really panicking. <laughs> okay, we're hitting up the loungewear vibes because honestly, I don't think it would be my kind of video if it didn't have some kind of way to wear things as loungewear. So I've got this hoodie and tracksuit set from Neighbourhood On, which is one of my favourites. It's so soft and comfortable. It's been washed a million times and it still feels as new. And then I've gone for some little trainers as well with the coat over the top because I think sometimes wearing like a full tracksuit underneath actually adds a bit more of a vibe to the outfit. And I really like the colours of this with green. I think it just looks really, really cute. So so that's how I've chosen to chuck it on a couple of times when I've gone to Tesco's or something and it's been really really nice and comfortable really easy to wear and honestly I just think tracksuits under aviators just look really nice because the aviator just kind of adds a little bit more of a something um, and like I said I think the green works really nicely with the coat as well Another really simple outfit that I think is a little bit more spring appropriate. I don't know why, but I just feel like this is a little bit more spring. Maybe it's the midriff out, I don't know. But I've gone for this little like cropped vest from Zara a few years ago that's got like a high neck. I'll leave similar links, I found some really good dupes. And then I've got these cargo trousers, some boots, my little tiny Celine bag, which I love, and just some sunglasses on my head. So nice, simple, casual outfit but it's almost elevated by the accessories, which I think works really nicely. So if I took away the sunglasses and the bag, I don't think it would be the same kind of vibe, but I think it kind of makes it a little bit more girly, but also still keeps it really cool and really just basic, minimal, casual, every tick box that I would possibly need in my life. And this is one I actually wore shopping the other day and I really liked it because it's really comfortable and I feel like cargos are a good way of mixing up your wardrobe if you're sick of wearing like tailored trousers, leggings and jeans. They're a good little alternative and these are just the perfect colour as well. I really like the fact they're like the neutral and slightly cropped. That's it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing a few ways that I've been styling my aviator jacket and hopefully got some good inspiration for how to style it into your own wardrobe with things you've already got or maybe just got some inspiration with pieces that you want to buy that will go with other things as well. As always, let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to style in future videos and I will add them to my list. I have quite a few backed up at the moment that have been requested on Instagram but as always I'm open to inspiration for outfits or for occasion outfits or for just like general things that you can't style in your wardrobe. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.